All right, cool. Hi, everybody. My name is Brooke Harrington. I am one of the creative specialists here at Luxion. And today I'm excited to give you guys a look at some of the awesome new animation features in Keyshot 10. We're going to start with um, keyframe animation, which I have set up here in this scene. This is a really, really cool addition to Keyshot. You're going to be able to create way more complex animations much, much faster. So um, with keyframes, essentially what you're able to do is capture your geometry's position with these sequences of keyframes along the timeline. So you can see in this um, scene here, I actually have several keyframe animations all set up individually applied to each one of these cubes that you can see in my scene. And if we look towards this folder here, which contains the three keyframe animations applied to these really big cubes right here, um, and I select on one of these, you can see that the object's path is represented in the real-time view by this yellow line. Um, and really this animation is only comprised of three different keyframes, so it's relatively simple. Um, the very first keyframe, starting here at the start position with these cubes, um, you know, at this resting position, then the second keyframe just below one second, I um, mean, you can see the movement that's occurring there. And then lastly, this third keyframe over here at the four second mark. And just because of the way that I've spaced these out along the timeline, I can get this sort of like explosion of movement that then sort of tapers out into like a slow motion effect. So it's a really cool um, technique. And, you know, otherwise an animation like this truthfully would take tons and tons of translation and rotation animations, but um, with keyframes, it's really easy. And that's that's largely because you're able to modify both the translation and rotation values um, simultaneously. So I actually also have a little cube in here that does not have a keyframe animation applied, but I will add one to it just to show you guys how easy this is. So we're just gonna add keyframe. And that very first keyframe that gets added um, is going to capture the current position of your geometry in the real time view. And let's open this up. So I'm just going to shift this first keyframe to the beginning. And that starting position is fine because that's where all these other cubes are starting from. Um, I'll simply just move my playback bar in line with the rest of the keyframes and choose this add keyframe icon. That is going to launch the move tool for you, um, where then at this point you can just modify your geometry's position. In this scene, these cubes are kind of going, kind of going a little crazy all over the place. Um, you can also go into the position accordion here and use these translation rotation values for some really precise adjustments. So that's actually a really cool um, improvement here in the move tool that then plays into the, the keyframe animation. But so that looks good. And I'm just going to drag my timeline, my playback bar again across the timeline to that four second mark and add in my last keyframe in which again, we'll just shift it just a little bit here um, and give it some rotation. Um, I will say that with a keyframe animation, it's really beneficial to think about sort of like the natural progression of motion for your object um, with sort of like, you know, real world forces that might act upon it. Understanding that is really what's gonna set it apart from um, other animations in creating a really realistic visual. Um, but you can see here how easy that was just to get that guy set up and he's following that yellow path. So it's fairly simple. There is a second workflow that you can use with keyframes that actually makes it even faster and that is record mode. So if I enable record mode here, um, basically what happens when that's, when that's active is any changes to the position of your geometry will automatically trigger the creation of a keyframe. So for example, if I'm working with the same cube again, and I realized that I want a uh, keyframe added at the five second mark. Instead of adding the keyframe with record mode, I can just I can just simply keep dragging my uh, cube and it will automatically trigger that keyframe. So this is a, a really awesome workflow technique if you're making super long keyframe animations um, because it definitely saves you that extra click of having to you know add a keyframe there. But overall, I'm a huge fan of keyframe animation. I think this is definitely worth worth checking out. Um, 
it's a, I think it's a total game changer for animation in Keyshot and promise you it'll make your life easier with uh, these more complex animation types.